on. Guys, welcome back to the internet. I'm your host, R2D2, and I'm here with C3PO. I'm not. Oh, escape shift. Apparently the only mythics we open are the uh, the reprinted ones that are worth a dollar. So that's cool. So that's cool. We do open a lot of mythics. I think we opened like five mythics, and four of them have been worth a nickel. Escape shift is worth two whole bones. I think it's one of these two, though. I, I'm tempted to take this because I think the black cards are garbage in this set. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Escape shift is literally unplayable, yes. If you're playing escape shift in your limited deck, you need to reevaluate re your, your drafting priorities. I did see a bone dragon. Um, and I did see a Vivian Reed. I like green better than black here. I'm going to take those Vigilant Bailoth, and you guys are going to be like, that's crazy. Grave Digger is the best card you can get. And I'm going to just tell you to sh shut up. That's what I'm going to say. Although it's funny because when you think about it, this guy is not that much different from this guy, which is a common, right? Did you play Bone Dragon, Vivian Reed, and I Elder Dragon? I did play. What do you mean? Did I play them? I played all three of those. Not in the same deck, of course, but... Got him. Got him indeed. What's better for being red? Is it Siegebreaker Giant? Or if it's a is it Electrify? I don't care about this idiot. I like Sif, but I'll be damned if I'm going to be blue again. I also like Pegasus Courser here. And there's the only white card. Whereas, like, if we pass this, someone else has taken this. I like this. I'm on that green white that green white flow. This guy's terrible, but so no no red cards. No no green cards really. Take a stone quarry. While you were away, I was watching a random YouTube of yours in the video you said pausing one form of frank content for another is great. I mostly agree as long as you don't draft red, blue, and M19. I agree with you. I agree with you. Rogue Praetor, thanks so much for the sub. Worry. Oh, Kerwit, Kerwit's, Kerwit be gifting people subs. Didn't Rogue Praetor even leave? Weren't they like, I'm out of here? Kerwit, you're a generous soul. I appreciate your, your existence. I'm just going to take the archer here. Archers! Oh, I like I like old Gaspark. Oh, that's old Gaspark. It's actually young Gaspark. These are the Gaspark twins. One is a guy and one is a girl. The the Gaspark twins. Da -da -da -da. That's a yeah, that's a, from the sitcom. You guys familiar with the old Gaspark twins sitcom? Doesn't matter. Probably taking it. It's very strong. I feel like when it has the ability to block an additional creature and it's a seven seven, you should probably give it vigilance. But uh, I'm just going to take it. We just really want all the Druids of the Cowl, which feels like an uncommon because you never really see that card. You see a bunch of Mana Liths, but you never see Druids of the Cowl. And you see this guy too. You see all the cards that are not Druid of the Cowl. Trusty Crap Beast. I'll just take the Basilisk. It's got a lot of good interactions with things like Rabid Bite, Rabid Bite. Timber Pack Wolves, Rise from the Grob. I'm going to take the Blood Divination here. That's a good black card. You can also take the Expanse to splash something. I think Blood Divination is probably better, though. Any Mythic Angels? Nay. Nay. Like a horse. Will you still be sending me a valentine? But they great tanks, bottle of wine. Would you lock the door? 
Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 79,000 years old. Um, none of these cards are super exciting. It's probably just Titanic Growth because, you know, we get blown out by Titanic Growth a million times. Following in the wake of Frank Mike. Um, I, I don't know if you ever want to follow in the wake of Frank Mike. He's... Oh, I like a Forsaken Sanctuary a lot here because it lets us play all of the things. Yeah, Forsaken Sanctuary OP. When I'm 64. And it is a foil? God. The rich get richer, am I right? Oh, get a get a doomed dissenter. All right, all right. Every time I'm like, "Oh, this deck is looking pretty good," it's always it's always hot trash, or it has no bearing because I've thought all of our, a lot of our decks were looking pretty good. That green blue deck was gas, and then we we're just like, "Oh, I just can't, I just can't win with this deck," so that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's, I'm gonna take a plummet. I think we can get a macabre waltz. All right, this guy's fine. Not great, but fine. When you turn side on, when you, you look at or Orson Welles, really? I don't feel like I look like Orson Welles in any way, shape, or form, but maybe that's just me. Kflix, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. At least I assume it's a resub. Oh, Kerwich, Kerwich is gifting people subs like a maniac. He's a maniac, maniac. Oh, Tranquil Expanse is like the perfect land for our deck. That's great, dude. A hundred bowl of spits. Well, I, I, I think they came in a little too late, unfortunately. I'm going to take this Sky Marcher, Blood, Blood, Blood Marcher, man. I also like Knightly Valor with Druid of Horns, because this is good by itself anyway. One hundred falling asleep at my deck my deck at work bits? You got a deck at work? Oh, that's nice. Kurt, with the problem with the gifted subs, and I love you to death for them, but the problem with the gifted subs is that the people don't re they don't resub. After they're gifted the sub, so at the end of the month, they just go down. You know, I wanna, I want that retention. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with Angel here because that's a good card. Maybe we're more, uh, more, more white than black now. Oh, Poison Tip Archer, that's a, that's a guy. What is this card? Three, four, flying for five. When enters battlefield, oh, that's actually really good. I think that's actually better than the Archer. I need to feel good now. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not gonna stop you. If you guys get addicted, I cannot be held responsible. I can I can support your addiction though. What is this? A 3-4 flyer versus a 2-3 reach death touch. Archer combos with archer. That's does it? Do, wait, does it? How does it how does uh, I don't I don't understand what that even means. I was like, how does that work? It doesn't. He's he is tripping. You craze. I wanna take this and maybe the poison tip guy comes back because that seems like a pretty narrow color combination. I'll just take this guy because he's great. I would like the shield mare, but that ain't happening. What are the odds of this guy actually getting beat up? Alan just woke up from an app and Frank is still streaming bits. That's fantastic. If you had me on as your background to serenade you, then you would have known. We have no life gain except for this, but we're just going to take the... We're going to be rejuvenating this time. Oh, Stagums? All right, so we're just solid Abzan here. Oh, Sky Marcher. Sky March Bloodletter. Hmm. Dang, I lulled Alan to sleep. Did you guys know that? This is better than the Blood Marcher. Plus, we can probably get another Blood Marcher. 
I want the rise, but I don't want another five drop. Good lord. I'm just gonna take Highland Stag. We don't have many two drops right now. There's a storm rolling in on me. We weren't supposed to get rain until like next week. It's actually got like 40 mile per hour. Oh, that's 40 mile per hour winds is no joke. I'd like another blood divination, but I really wouldn't as well. So I'm just gonna take this blood letter. I sent I sent you a blood letter. Did you get my blood letter? Let's take Child of Night here. I can actually see us cutting Druid of Horns. We don't actually... Oh, we have Knightly Valor. Never mind. Is that team pump spell good? Um, it's... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Foul Orchard? They're just giving us all the good lands. Now we have one of each. One of every Abzan land. <laughs> oh, the how is Neros not already subscribed? This is very strange. Oh, God. I guess we'll just take this. Rupture Spire. That also helps the cause. Actually, Infernal Scarring? Is that actually good? Corn nuts, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Also, uh, Dawson Dub, thank you so much for gifting the sub. Really appreciate it. You guys have been, oh my god, you guys are going crazy. Uh, I think it's actually Infernal Scarring. We can put on the Druid. Put on our Vampire. Usually they're killing your creatures in this format. They're not like bouncing them or anything. So, I'll take out the Daybreak guy. All of these are very good. <laughs> Josh with the gifted sub to Majestic. Oh god. Oh, you guys are great. This is okay. So we hit the we hit the three thirty. I mean, obviously, okay. So the real goal is five hundred subs. That's the that's the true goal. Because when you hit five hundred, they give you a better percentage of uh, of you know the cut, right? Like at at anything under five hundred, it's like it's like fifty fifty. Once you hit five hundred, it comes it becomes like eighty twenty, I think, which is significantly better for you know if you're trying to stream full time, which I have been doing for. Quite a while now. Hey, look, we hit a little ship burger. Draw a card. Each creature control defender assigns content to his toughness. Um, I'm real tempted. I think we're just taking this anyway because it's cool. Ten k subs. Dang. How do we splash this guy? We don't have any walls either. That's unfortunate. We only defenders. There's a dollar. Why can't you be a foil so I can get my fourteen dollars? <sighs> it's probably a Lich's caress. That's that's sad. Hey, declare dominance. That's cool. I think it's just Pegasus Courser here. God, we could take Declare Dominance, but how many five drops are we running here with no Druid of the Cowls and... Uh, we splash a Bant Dragon the same way we splash these white cards. We get lands that help you cast it. Still a 3-5 Vigilant Flyer for 4 mana, which is very good on rate. Is Endurance playable? It is. It's definitely playable. I don't think it's better than either of these, though. My black and green cards feel weak? Okay, that's weird. Herald... Oh, is this any good? Probably not. 
Another non-token dragon enters the battlefield. Create a 5-5. Five, five. So if you play a dragon, get a dragon. I'm going to take this druid of the cowl. That's really what we want to be with all these five drops. And probably another elvish rejuvenator here as well. Colossal majesty could be good, but I don't think we have any four power creatures. Let's put them over here. Yep, just two. All right, so we're just going to take druid. Of the, we're going to take rejuvenator here. So we need one cut. I'm probably going to cut the Druid of Horns. What's our package for that? We got Druid, Infernal Scarring, and Nightly Valor. I don't think I care about it that much. We can also cut the Infernal Scarring, which is also pretty bad. Uh, I'll, I'll play another Nightly Valor for sure. That card's good. Better than Fountain and Apparatus. All right. And Rejuvenator ramps us to it, so okay. There's a lot of five drops, though. It's also 17 creatures. When I'm 64. YOLO. Friggin' YOLO. You can't ever play this? How can we not play this? Even if you play this on turn 7, right? Even if you even if your 2 mana's off, it's still a 7. It's still a 10 10 for 7. Stop being babies. That's my advice for you guys in the future. Stop being babies. Oh, Johnny's Pride Mate can come out. That guy sucks. You suck ass at Johnny's Pride Mate. That's how I feel about you. Oh, a foil dragon's horde? Ooh, I'll take it. I ain't too proud. Why did we not take Manolith? Because we already have double Elvish Rejuvenator and a, and a Druid of the Cowl. I'm not going to play a Manolith. My dude. <laughs> how many how many guys do you hit, actually? Two power. Um, So nothing here. One, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd rather have the Invoke. We don't have a Naturalize. I'd rather have that type of effect. Are you better than anything we have now? Not really, but you're also the only card we'll probably play out of that pack. Yeah, I'll take another Highland game. Sure. Is Highland game better than Child of Light? No, not really. I guess they're kind of like, eh. Oh, I got friggin' toasted. Yeah, suck on them eggs. Suck on them Toasty eggs. Also, we got a dragon sword, which is basically just a better manolith. In, 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 out. This deck is done. We have no reason to cut white. All of our white cards are great. Eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, three, four, five. Probably going with four here, especially with Double Rejuvenator. Another black.
Done. Everix, hello, handsome. How are you doing? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm doing okay. And this is our best deck yet. So, just to be clear. Prime Pro, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Dr. Funkberg, have a good have a good uh, have a good night, buddy. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand because we can literally play Gigantosaur if we draw it. Draw it. If we draw it. Who talks like that? I don't know. That GGGGG is going to be rough. Well, it's funny because we have four right here and we can probably hit one more with the Selvish Rejuvenator. Why don't you eat your words, buddy? Oh, nailed it. <laughs> All right, we did it. I mean, if the blue-red deck has a way to get rid of our 10-10. Uh, it's 30, I mean, it's been 30, it's... Not over the last couple days, no. It's it was we were at 320, then we went down to, we went out to 298, then we went up to 308, then we went back went down to 301. It fluctuates a lot depending on how many Twitch Prime subs we get that don't auto renew. Sure, blue has dwindle, but I ain't too concerned with a dwindle. Okay, it'll be a 410. That can still attack. No blocks. Yeah, I take my land game seriously. I only play foil dual lands. Uh, that's not actually a dual land. A traditional dual land has two different land types on it. Shut up. We got the casual seven mana on turn five. Nothing to do with it. I don't care about that thing. Give me that Gigantus. Actually, we can't play it yet, so. Dang it. I'm just going to kill this idiot. Get in there for dose. All right. They tap out. We draw Gigantosaur. Done. Done deal. Okay. We're halfway there. Yep. Don't care. Sack this idiot. I mean, we do care because it's a very threatening creature, but... Okay, Plains is also good. I was thinking either 10-10 rare or um, our 10th land. It was one of the two. I think I think that was a good compromise, though. 10th land was good. Man, main deck plummet. You might be right. Sorry, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. <sighs> oh, another land. And a child of night. Cool. Yep, Plummet can come right on in.
I will play first. What a garbage hand. Gonna keep it because we have some things to do. Oof, I think we've definitely gotten to the the point of the game where uh, I just don't have it in me to play these miserable games anymore. Oof. Yeah, no real plays here. I hope they try to shock this. That'd be gas. I gained so much life. Oh, I did not anticipate that. I'll drink water for you so Marshall doesn't yell at you on stream. <laughs> oh man, that was gas, dude. I I'm sure I like I couldn't fathom a world where like me drinking water was was more unprofessional than you calling me out on it during the stream, right? Like that's where that's what it came down to for me. I was like, you just did something worse than the thing you perceived me to do. Anyway. All right. Well, we're done here. Five drop, five drop, five drop, five drop. And then nothing else but lands. Nothing else but lands? Nothing else but no lands is really what I meant. Sure. Hey, look at that. We hit a little creechy. That's basically a land. Uh, nothing. Don't, nothing happened with the Marshall. Don't worry about it. This was years ago. This was like literally seven years ago or six years ago or something ridiculous. Are you com come on, dude. Just stop. Give me that life. How's he going to play the same two cards in the same order? You right. How are you going to go demanding dragon into volcanic dragon two games in a row? You need Jesus. Where is your Jesus now? I will cancel this. I have a cancel in my hand. I will cancel your spell. You know what? Shut up. Whatever. We're going to be declaring dominance like later. Next turn. Soon. Yep. Take it. I'll spot you in Alexander Hamilton for it. Oh, boy. Good times. Good times. Always a pleasure. Well, let's see if this does a thing. Actually, I guess you got a block, so cool beans. So many things that I want to say. You know, I like gas bark a little bit. I don't wanna... Man, we are, uh... 
this child tonight's really really doing some doing some work here. Now it's not. And then it wasn't. Buzz buzz. Guess we'll go to four here. Sure. Infinite blockers. Wow. <sighs> sure. So we're going to top deck a land. Like you do. I mean, we can keep back the flyer this turn. We were at eight. There's no real reason to keep back the flyer, so. Oh, that was interesting. Why would you block there instead of with one of these guys? Oh, because it has trample, I guess. That's a good reason. I forgot about the trample. So we're basically just dead to this thing, because... Sure. Literally goes to one. It's unbelievable to me. God, I hate this game so much. <laughs> That's so miserable, dude. Oh, boy. Must be nice. I would not know. It's been quite a while since I've won a uh, match of M19 Limited, so I couldn't tell you. Sure. Maybe your card evaluations are off. Maybe that's why we've been drafting different things for every single draft. So we can figure out what they are. I mean, if we've been playing the same deck three times in a row, that'd be one thing. But we played black, white, blue, red, and then now green, white, black. So if they are off, um, they're literally off for the entire set. And every single card we've drafted has been incorrect in three separate drafts in all five colors. So, but maybe. Or alternatively, it's a core set. And uh, the cards are less powerful, so that way when you have a big 4-4 four, four flying dragon on the board, uh, it's infinitely harder to deal with because there are less powerful answers in the format. And less less of them. Fewer of them. Uh, that That is the alternative. Maybe you just got lucky the first few days. Well, Maybe. Or maybe magic is a game of variance and luck, uh, along with skill. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, dismissing the skill aspect, but I'm, maybe uh, you win some, you lose some. And I would like to not attribute all my wins to luck, because that feels pretty insulting. I have, I, I don't actually remember what I took over Rabbit Bite. I might have just missed it to be quite honest with you. Uh, this card actually seems miserable. Do I just like declare dominance here? And just assume your black, blue, green deck doesn't have anything to deal with it? All right, this is actually a fine trade if that works. Okay.
I mean, they're never blocking this, so that's cool. Nailed it. Oh, how nice. I would definitely consider streaming some Diablo 3. I don't know how exciting it would be. I feel like it's a hard game to have commentary for because I'm not like, I can't announce my strategic plays. Like, I can't explain why I do certain things. Uh, I enjoy Diablo 3, and I think Diablo 2 is also good. Oh, I see. How nice. Forgot that angel can't attack. The awesome Delp, have a good weekend, buddy. Always a pleasure, sir. Oh, they whiff twice with this? Oof. Oh, the double green seeker deck. I guess we just hope this angel wins in three turns. Oh boy. Brutal. Brutal. Man, three whiffs? Oh, I see. You found an answer within the three turns needed. How unfortunate. Come on. Oh, you hit a land. Do it again. Do it again. I dare you. Cool. Draw two cards. Seems nice. Actually, you should probably just attack with this guy, too. If they want to trade here, then we get a 2-2, which is... Oh. Well, then. Intriguing. Bop him. All right. Draw a million cards. Okay, so two lands in hand. <sighs> okay. Draw three cards. The universe is a simulation. It's not a good one though, because these cards all suck. Draw 
Can attack into your 6-6. Six, six. Can I speak to whoever is in charge here? I'd like to speak to the simulations manager. How nice. That should win us the game. What did they play previously? A swamp? So I think we only know they have an island in hand. One and three and one and three. All right, so no no cards. So they got four cards, three of which are cool dude spells. One of which is a cool dude land. Okay, if that's the best you got. I'll take six. It's got Vigilance. Might as well attack anyway, right? Cool. Cool. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve lands. Cool. That's real cool. Alright, put you to two. Hope you don't draw an answer. Okay. I would have probably Green Seeker done upkeep just to if we hit, if there's another land on top you're just drawing it whereas Green Seeker can get you the land first then you draw the actual card. This is basically just Library of Alexandria, right? Oh my god, how are you drawing the perfect card every single time? I play this, you play this. Wait, what? Is it only on your side of the board? What does that do? Why don't you copy the Pegasus Courser? Oh, because it's 7, 14, 20. I guess we just have to hope you don't have a thing. This guy dies when it blocks. Yeah, okay, so you didn't get the block because they all have tramples, so sure. All right, we go to one here? And now we get to win at one, or how does that work? Oh. Oh, we get to win at one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like attacking with the 7-7 seven, seven and the 6-6 six, six might have been fine, and then you just have a blocker, and then you go to one instead. You have a blocker for the flyer. I kind of want the invoke here. They have dwindle and they had the uh, the copy card. The copy card. Um, yeah, I think we're just fine like this. Bring in lava axe. Solid choice. Keep. Keep them and reap them. What does that even mean? It is just a 5 mana 10-10. That is correct. You got that right. I will 100% Titanic Growth this guy to kill their Dry Green Seeker. Sure. 
just like never block. All right, no, no advantage. Double green seeker every game, huh? Seems good. That is more than reasonable to attack. To, uh, to, to use a Titanic Growth on. Especially because we have the 3-4 Flyer coming down next turn. We have a way to prevent them from blocking. They just have nothing there? Intriguing. So now they know we don't have anything because we're just going to play this guy. We know they have Essence Scatter, though, right? So... Yeah, I don't want to run Vampire Sovereign into an Essence Scatter. You can play your 6-drop next turn, which also doesn't block this guy, so... 5-mana EOT? Oh. Sure. Okay, good. Sovereign is live. Still no hits. Oh, man. Brutal. They've missed three land drops. So, I mean... Good lord. Sure. Oh, uh, we're just going to play Guide here. They can draw a second card. First time you ever seen me drink without a straw? I mean, I drink constantly. Most of the times I don't have a straw. The only time I have a straw is when I have a drink from a, from a restaurant or something. Which is very unlikely. Or very uncommon, I should say. Oh my god, where are the lands, dude? Main phase to hit a land. This is like six whiffs in a row? What is even happening, dude? Hey guys, Beer Man Man sees, sees nothing wrong with drinking constantly. You heard it here first. Huh. Huh. Are they still dead? They go block, they got a block here, block here, and they take one instead. 
Oh, that's brutal. Well, that's a good draw. So there's actually no real reason to swing unless you want to... These guys will trade. These guys will trade. I think we just attack here and play Star Crown Stag, and it should be should be good to go. Should be G2G, as the kids say. That doesn't feel like a good switch, right? Like, I don't know. This card... It, it only feels like a good switch because they actually got nothing off of it, but... Yeah, I think they're dead here. Oh. They have lived to see another day. No, they haven't. <laughs> we have Starcron Stag. Okay, yeah, they figured it out. All right. Well, we're not dead yet. I'll keep this hand. I don't love it, but... Look at that beautiful draw. Roll that beautiful game footage. Three green seekers, two games. Three games. Two matches? Two matches, we'll say, because otherwise it'd be like five green seekers and three matches. Three games. I'll get it. I'll get it right. Never blocks. Is it worth to just play Archer here? Maybe. Probably. Let's see if this opponent can have just as poor luck as our last opponent did in the second game. Nope, guess not. Basically a one-sided Frexian Arena that blocks all your two power creatures. That's cool. That's a fair card. Wow, this card's not going to do anything. There's no way you're attacking here. Oh, you can Rabbit Bite. They did not. Okay. This guy's actually pretty good against their board right now. Did they play... What did they play last turn? Did they play the forest? Uh, I played a swamp. They played a forest. Okay, so presumably we don't know about that one. We can just play this guy, make this guy unable to be blocked, and that's all of their things. Oh, that's annoying. Probably just want that.
I think they're trying to decide whether they block with Herald and Dryad Greenseeker. They are not trying to decide that. I think we're just going to play Guide here and play Foul Orchard. Being able to prevent two of their creatures from, like, blocking our guys is pretty good. And if they want to attack with Herald to gain two, that's fine. Okay. Seems fine. Another another two or less power creature. Interesting. Are we... Are they dead? Just attack with these two, no blocks. I mean, if they have titanic strength, I guess. Alright, they're just dead. <laughs> Seems good. Probably bringing Plummet in because this card is problematic and I have to assume they have other flyers. Didn't see anything invocable. This is a weird attack where you're like, yeah, I'll just put myself dead on board. Sounds good. I'll keep this hand under the assumption that we draw lands or rejuvenating elves. Or five drops. That was the other option. You want to play an FNM tonight? No. not Probably not going to FNM tonight. It's also 6 p.m. Oh my god, can we just not get a friggin' Green Seeker on turn two every single game? That's really all I'm asking. I don't feel like it's asking that much. I actually will Titanic Growth to kill this. Okay, well, you're just gonna main phase it and hit up the planes, of course. Seems good. I've now seen seven Green Seekers in four games. That is not realistic. I will make this trade every time. I don't talk any smack to Lee Sharp on Twitter. I don't even use Twitter anymore. I'd rather just kill this guy than... Because if we attack with here, they can just block here. So having this guy on board is actually kind of obnoxious. Whereas next turn we have really good plays. We can play Knight, Knightly Valor on this guy to make it make them both attackable. And they missed, which is great. Or we can just play 5-5. Five, five. Sure. That does change our plan. Five, five it is. And I don't like actually Nightly Valor around here because then they just double block and we get to eat one guy. Well, they don't have a second green yet, which is kind of cool, I guess. All right, so we are we can assume they played that. There's no way you attack with this guy, right? Didn't yeah, I didn't think so. Four, five, six, seven. They could triple block here. We can take out two of them. 
or we can I think we just want to actually blood divination here maybe so putting it on here we get to take these two out Putting on here means they can only block really one of them profitably. They could go four, five, one, three on here. I think this is still good though. I mean, being able to take out the Thornhide Wolves with either one of these guys is just fine. Sure. Sure. It looks like a whiff. It is a whiff. Seems good. All right. All right. Hokey dokey. Yep, that's a big boy. Damn boy, he's thick. That's a thick guy. Damn boy, he's thick. Boy! That's what I always say. Ba boom 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 ba boom boom. I'll just block like this. Uh, if they have Titanic growth, I don't really want to get wrecked. So they have to have like something else. That's a fair trade. Colossal Dreadmaw for Colossal Dreadmaw. Until they go second Colossal Dreadmaw. Oh. Gaspark twins. It's actually pretty good. So we're going to do one of these jobs. Well, if we, if we, yeah, actually, if we hit any land, um, we can play Pegasus Courser. Well, any land that doesn't come into play tapped. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So five, six, we can deal nine next turn. Actually, we win in two turns, don't we? If they don't have anything. Uh, no blocks, I'll take seven. A lot of things happening here. Oh, that's actually really good. Um, so we can put declare dominance on eight, five, six, seven, eight. That would they would die. I mean, a plummet here would be certain death. Faux show. I think we're winning. Like, I just wish if they tap out for something stupid, that'd be great. But, uh, I mean, if they're tapping out in the green-white deck, it's probably for something monstrous.
Alright, so you don't have trample, so I'm just going to chump block you and take seven. Cool. That... That'll do. Well, we had a game, and then we died. Because of one take vengeance. We can deal five. <laughs> and then if we survive... Which we won't. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this guy's got eight, so we can actually kill this and this and nothing else, and then we'd lose it. It's pretty bad. Meanwhile, I wish, wish Plummet was anything else right now. Actually, even if we had another turn, we wouldn't be able to do it. Wow, Pegasus Corsair was OP, and they had the Take Vengeance. It's pretty good. Guess we'll just pass here. I mean, if we draw Titanic Growth, if we're somehow able to survive and we draw Titanic Growth, maybe we win? I don't know. I think we're dead. I am indeed still going. Fascinating. What do we have in our deck that can actually save us? Probably Julian. Have a good FNM, buddy. Hope you win. Hope you win it all. I literally have, like we can double block the ghast bark but I don't know how that actually keeps us alive uh, drafts went 0302 today so absolutely miserable and we are one one right now up a game soon to not be up a game I mean let's just cross is fine but it doesn't get us out of this situation unfortunately. gonna block here I'll take seven maybe let's just cross on here and then also declare dominance on here oh, god that would be insane but I, I think we're out of options at this point cool two two sure not exciting <laughs> block block Still take five. <sighs> Fashionable late to the party as usual, unfortunately. Mm. 
Yep. All right, we're going to take the plummet out. Plummet was probably preemptive, unfortunately. Just draw, just draw a card. Chaplain, don't care about. Pride Mage, don't care about. Didn't have anything invocable. Creature you control, don't care about that. I almost like a second Knightly Valor, but... Yeah, I want to bring in Knightly Valor. The Vigilance is good. They have take they have take Vengeance. So putting on like a Flyer early or something could be very, very good. I mean, this 5-drop slot is ew, pretty bad. But we also have double Elvish Rejuvenator and also a Druid of the Cowl. So. It's more like moving them over here, but... We're going to go to the game now. All right. Keep. I was going to say that it's funny because we haven't drawn Druid of Cal once, but. Cyber Dragon, enjoy martial arts, buddy. That sounds significantly healthier than uh, getting tilted on magic. I know your pain. All right, we're going to play the lands that allow us to uh, play Giganto, Gigant Gigantosaurus when we draw it in the next turn. All right, now we're just going to play this, because we can play this guy if we draw another black, so. Did they mulligan? They didn't mulligan. Why are they complaining about the shuffle? Interesting. Oh, no, why? That's good. That's the exact opposite of what we wanted. We wanted a swamp. Or a green card. Get a white card. Seems good. It still feels like we're ahead, but nope, not anymore. Never mind. Three, four, five. All right, well, next turn we get a thing. If we hit a land, it'll probably just be another white card, though, so I'm not, not too excited about it. Play 5-5 five, five for 5 with Vigilance. Significantly better than everything we have because we can't draw White Source. Maybe. Probably. Oh, they they could have paid costs there. Mm, block the actual guy, I guess. Is there a benefit to that? No, not really. We'll kill the token. If they have, like, Recollect, I don't want them to get Gallant Cavalry back, I guess. Yep, there it is. Oh, f go f come on. Are you kidding me? Like, really? I just don't... I time walk myself because, like, one land out of three that comes into play tapped is the one I draw. <sighs> Cringe city, dude. Yep. Cool. That's ridiculous. I mean, ideally you don't have an answer for this, but you probably do. Luminous Bonds attack you for 13. I mean, I'm blocking because I feel like the only thing they could have is Titanic Growth here as a trick. But I'm probably wrong, and they're probably going to blow us out. That's my, that's my guess. Oh, I see. Or you're just going to give him first strike and attack for 8. Also an option. Well then, one, two, three, we do four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so we can play this and not this. So basically only this. I guess we can play Nightly Valor Doom Dissenter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Literally they have exactly enough power to block with all three guys. Leaving them with a colossal dread maw. That's so bad. I guess we can go stag to center. I only have two blacks, so we can't go 
sovereign dissenter. All right, well, here we go. It's a good dude. All right, no attacks. It appears we're at some sort of a stalemate at least. One, two, three, four, five. You. Actually, this with Knightly Valor is pretty good. Also, now we're in a position where if we draw Display Dominance, we uh, actually have a board. But I'm not going to attack with anything because I have a feeling they probably have Take Vengeance in their hand. Take Vengeance? Is that what it's called? Take... I think that's what it's called. I have no idea. Who even knows? Rares are cool. I mean, this is lethal next turn if we're not dead. So we get five here and then another nine in the air. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six. There's 12 guys. We have one, two, three, four, we have seven. So actually we're pretty okay here unless they do like display dominance. <sighs> oh boy. So now it's seven damage instead and that's not lethal, but... It also doesn't seem like they can attack. Uh, we have another Knightly Valor. This guy can also block two things, so that's pretty good. Inspired Charge would be insane here, but... I mean, we have several draws. One, two, three, four. That's uh, actually a good one. JK, it's terrible. The problem is just attacking with this. They they, they have Take Vengeance. That's got to be their last card in hand. I still think it's fine. God, put them to one with Titanic Growth. Man. Do they not have it? Stop top tacking you? I just played a land. I don't think I've top decked a single card. I think they're all in my hand. Oh. Oh my god, they don't have to take vengeance. I think we just won the game. Yeah, that's another planes. Oh, that was like three minutes ago. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to close the game out here. If they had plummet, I'm sure they would have plummeted before taking three last turn. Oh. You got good skills. There we go. There we go. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you later, Henry. Either way, 2-1, I'll take it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check out my Twitch and my Patreon page. Both of those links are in the description below. And uh, if you want to support my content, there are ways to do that in both of those venues. And uh, appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.